Hello everyone and welcome back to Kevin on Caffey. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Attack of the B Team. Last episode we set up all of our advanced genetic stuff. If you haven't seen that episode, you can go check that one out. But uh, basically we built all of these machines. We spent a long time going and like scraping sheep for these skin scales. And then we put them through all these machines. Uh, at this point here we chose eat grass. And now if we head on outside, we have the full ability to just, uh, if we don't have stuff in our hand, I believe. So like, let's go to this. We have the full ability to just, or we did have the full ability to just eat grass. Um, we're just going to ignore the fact that I can't eat grass, and um, <laughs> I wonder if it wears off. That could be a thing. It might wear off. Hmm, that's really strange. Let me just quickly try uh, human morph and see if that's why. It shouldn't be, and it's not. Hmm, that's very odd. I'll have to look into that, but we did get eat grass, and for a time at least we could eat grass. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately now we can't. But uh, I'll have to look into that. The, but uh, that's not the uh, that's what I want to do this episode anyway. What I want to do this episode is get into the enhanced portals two mods. If I go at enhanced, it should come up with this stuff here. So this is the enhanced portals two mod, and uh, the reason that I'm wanting to look into this stuff is because let me just quickly uh, let me just try this real quick. Uh, and see if that works. Unnamed. I'll get rid of that. What do we have to do with this? Oh, we have to breed it with our vial of our blood, don't we? So if we get a vial of our blood real quick. Let's see if we can get this to work. We might be able to get it to work. We might not. <laughs> Who knows? Let's take some blood. Centrifuge it. It'll turn into some centrifuge blood. We should be able to combine that with this stuff. Maybe. No? Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, just ignore that. <laughs> what we're going to do this episode is we're going to do some in, uh, Enhanced Portals 2 mod. And basically what this allows us to do is make some pretty cool portals uh, wherever we want. And this sort of, we can link them together to each other wherever we want on the uh, on the world. So what I want is I basically I just want one down here. I'm thinking maybe here. I was going to put it by the entrance, but it's uh, a bit too thin. And then I'm thinking of also having one up here so that we don't always have to use this uh, elevator block. Now, I do like the elevator block, but uh, if you look down, we only do have eight levels. And it does take, like, especially on the lower levels, like... Uh, about what is it? About half a level ish, maybe, to uh, to go up and down every time, which is pretty expensive. Uh, whereas if we can get some of these cool uh, enhanced portals made, we can just sort of walk through those, be upstairs, and the cool thing about them is that we can have um, like a little network going, and we can have different destinations for the portal. So I can say uh, I can go in here and I can click on it. I'd be like, okay, I want to go upstairs. So I walk through it. I'll just take me upstairs to the house. But then if I said, say, I want to go, and I made, I'd have to make another portal up in the house up here for instance, but then if I said, okay, I want to go out to the field, and I had another portal out in the field, I could just go through there, and I'd come out in the field, which is pretty cool, so we can have, like, a little portal that sends us everywhere we want to go, and we can also, like, double it as a nether portal as well, which is pretty cool. So, for now, what I think I'm going to do is just have one up here, and then one down in the basement. Um, another cool thing about this mod is that you can have the portals any size, any shape that you want, which is pretty awesome, so even if you just want to make a cool-looking nether portal, you could do that. Now, uh, we're going to need a few things. First of all, we're going to need a portal. Now, I'm not sure what shape I want. I don't have that much obsidian. I have 22. So, I'm not, I can't, like, be making too extravagant a portal. I might actually just do something like, uh, like a little, like, circular diamond shape, maybe. Just to be, just to be different. <laughs> maybe, like, this. Yeah, that'll do me for now, I guess. I might actually move it into the wall. Yeah, I think I'm going to move it into the wall, because that'll probably look a bit better. And I'm pretty sure there is um, a camouflage mod, uh, a modification, so I say, that you can add, uh, or a module, I think it might even be, that you can add to the portal that makes it so it um, like, camouflages with the blocks that are next to it, the adjacent blocks. So if we put it in the wall and add that um, effect, we could probably get it to just look like uh, stone bricks and a nice little thing in the wall. Uh, is this thing out of power or something? It seems to be going really slow. But then again, for Obsidian, it's probably actually going quite fast. So I'll grab all these guys, and I'll just push it back one into the wall. And then we'll set one up that looks pretty similar upstairs. So like this. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. And then we'll just break these guys. I think I might have to put something behind this because I'm not a massive fan of the sludge. But uh, we can do that in a second. Let's go eat some apples. Do we have apples in here? Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Um, the, M the, uh, the machine's getting a bit backed up and I think it's because this chest is full. Like uh, all the rubber and stuff that's up in the, uh, the mine factory reloaded system we've got up there is kind of not doing anything at the minute. Uh, I'll have to look into that, but for now, we should be able to do this, get rid of these guys, 
and now if we get actually let me just quickly put say I'll just put one of these here for now it should be fine let's put one there and now if we get one of these we need a portal modifier we're going to need one of these in uh, in each portal so the portal modifier is, takes four obsidian uh, like an advanced flint and steel the one from this mod which is just flint and steel and two glowstone um, so obsidian, diamond, iron, and ender pearls and redstone. So we've got uh, we've got redstone and iron. Let's grab an ender pearl. Uh, let's just grab more because I think we're going to need them all for this mod. Uh, flint. Do, 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 do. We've got one there, but I'm pretty sure we've got more. Yeah, we've got 17 more there, and then glowstone. Did we have any? Yeah, look at that. We've got like two stacks of glowstone. Cool stuff. Okay, so we'll make some flint and steel. I'm actually going to make two because we need one to light the portal once we've made it. So let's take this. I'm pretty sure we need a special one. I don't know if we do, but I think we do. I uh, need one of these uh, advanced ones to light the portal. So we'll take that and that. And are we missing anything? Maybe? Uh, iron, redstone, diamonds. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Here we go. 23 diamonds. More than enough. Let's do this. Oh, you know. So I think, I think we've got what it takes. One of these. Uh, one of these. Iron flint and ender pearl yeah there we go portable modifier portable portal modifier <laughs> sorry about that right so now pretty sure we can just put this guy i think we can put him anywhere where there's obsidian at the minute but i'm gonna put it here like this now by default i'm pretty sure it acts as a nether portal so if we just like this like this uh, this will just act as a nether portal for now, so it won't do anything else, it'll just act as a nether portal. And if we go inside it, you can see we can put upgrades in here, and we can also add a network. Uh, another cool thing is actually that you can add uh, thickness, so you can have normal thickness, thick, thicker, and then full block. Uh, not sure, we might have to restart the portal for this to take effect, so let's just have a real quick test to see if that's the case. Do we have some cobblestone? We do. I think it, uh, you need to restart it, and it is um, redstone controlled, you can use redstone, uh, or computer craft even to uh, just turn it off and turn it back on again. Yeah, you see now it's on full block, which uh, looks a little weird actually, but um, it might look better once we've got like it a bit, once we've got these as stone bricks. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it at like, maybe, maybe thick. Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, so uh, we've got that. Now what we're gonna need is a dimensional upgrade. Now this thing's pretty expensive. It takes some iron, some gold, some redstone, and an upgrade card, an ender pearl. Uh, now all these require an upgrade card, so we're going to need a lot of paper, a lot of golden nuggets, and some purple dye, which is a red dye and a blue dye. We've got quite a nice amount of red dye. Blue dye is just lapis. So let's make a bunch of purple dye. Like that. And then golden nuggets, not too hard to make. I don't know if do we have some somewhere? I think we might have some golden nuggets. I remember making or using them before, but uh, apparently not. Let's just make these guys. And then, what was it, redstone? Paper. Okay, 32 paper, cool stuff. Let's make a few of these. We'll make four. Yeah, I think four is actually the perfect amount we're going to need for this episode because there's another upgrade I want to put on um, as well. So, iron, gold. Do we have what it takes to make this thing? Uh, let's just have a look. This thing, some iron. We don't have the gold. Do we have what it takes now? Yeah, cool stuff. Okay, so now I've got a dimensional upgrade. Let's throw... All you gotta do is um, you gotta right click on the block with the upgrade. If you try and like grab it and click it in like this, it doesn't work. You've got to right click on it. Now the dimensional upgrade allows you to travel to any dimension, allows you to travel to the same dimension. So now we can use this portal to travel to another portal that we would have upstairs. So let's quickly make another one of these um, portal frames. So do we have what it takes? I think we do. Let's just have a quick look here. Obsidian in the corners, this stuff. Uh, redstone, iron, and ender pearl, and the Flint and steel. I don't think this broken one's going to work. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Okay, let's make another flint and steel real quick. We might actually have to go get some more obsidian in a sec. I thought I, uh, I didn't think we'd need so much, but apparently we do. Let's see. So diamond, obsidian in the corners, ender pearl, redstone, and iron. Oh, really? Really? Oh, that's a pain. That's a huge pain. Let's just grab a bunch of iron. We're probably going to need more of it. Right, last try. Last try, come on, we can do this. Uh, redstone, ender pearl, diamond, obsidian in the corners, and then da, 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 the flint and steel. Ta da! We've got a new part modifier. Okay, so we've only got seven obsidian left. Let me just check. I don't think we need any more obsidian. So we've got seven to make this part. How much did this one take? 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Really? Really? You're gonna be you're gonna be so mean. Oh god, okay. <laughs> oh my days. That is not what you wanna see when you walk into your house. Nope. There we go. Whew. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put it just behind here now. Uh, let's close the door. That's probably why you got in. Do we have a center to this room? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This should be the center. So let's throw this down here. Oh, God. It's just the rain. It's just the rain. Uh, there was a recent update, so we've got sound back now, which is uh, kind of nice, but also kind of annoying, because when we go out to the fields, them cows are so loud. <laughs> They're really loud. Uh, I don't think we can actually make the full portal of this, so let's... <laughs> That's not going to work. Let's take this off. I think I'm just going to make it uh, a bit thinner at the top, like uh, this, maybe. Yeah, that'll do. It's not, it doesn't look the best, but it'll do. <laughs> okay, so now we need to throw it in. We need to make another one of those um, dimensional upgrades. So, do we have what it takes to make another dimensional upgrade? No. What do we need? Uh, gold is what we need. I think we have some in one of these chests here. Yeah, look at all this gold we've got. <laughs> So let's make another one of these guys, real quick, like this. We don't want to make two. Let's throw this in here, and then I'm pretty sure if we light this thing up, and, oh no, we're going to have to do something else. Oh, that wasn't a good idea, was it? We could have burnt everything down. Right, let's set up a network. I'm just going to set it to, uh, you can set up, like, a password for your things. So if you're on a server, you might want to complicate this a bit, like, make it a bit make your own unique code to go to your portals. But I'm just going to cancel that. You can also pick um, you can also pick random if you want. It'll just randomly generate some for you. Uh, I'm just going to go with um, diamond because it's just easy to remember. There we go. Diamond. And then if I head on downstairs and select diamond I'm just going to turn my sound off as well for a second because that range really annoying. Let's just go down here. Select diamond. And then now nope. Diamond. Accept. We might be able to travel through. Oh yeah, look at that. So now, we can pretty much just go from upstairs to downstairs very nice and easily. And uh, also, uh, they do obsidian stairs. The mod has obsidian stairs, which is quite cool, because then it could put like, um, you could just walk up into your portal, but we don't really need it, to be honest. We've got, we're in Batmorph most of the time. So we can just sort of be like, pew! And we're out here, and then pew! Back here. Okay, so that's that. Now there is another uh, little cool trick that you can do with this stuff. Now, it's actually a way to make blue dye. Let's have a look. Dye. Actually, do we have any orange dye? Orange dye is pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, do we have any orange dye? We've got yellow flowers, but we don't have any red left, do we? Oh, that's a shame. Actually, it might be in our flowers chest upstairs, which we could have used our portal for, <laughs> but we didn't. Okay. <laughs> Good use there. Uh, let's grab some red flowers real quick, because I want to get some orange dye. So, red flowers, like, over here. Uh, oh no, we haven't got any red flowers, we've got a little red bush. Um, do you have any red flowers? Hello? Red flowers! There we go, yeah, there's some down here. Also, a skeleton spawners. Let's just leave those alone. And there's a creeper with a crown on, but... I would like the crown, but it's fine. We'll wait. We'll be patient. Okay, let's make some yellow dye. And some red dye. Using our flowers that we picked up. Ah. Yeah, you know. That's the only thing about being in Batmorph. I always leave stuff on the floor when I'm going around to get stuff. Uh, it was a real pain last episode when I was trying to get all the uh, sheep scales. I kept coming back and I just, like, not picked anything up. Where are these red flowers? We're over here. There we go. Now we've got them. Okay. These guys are just fighting amongst themselves. I'm just going to ignore those guys and flow on right down into my downstairs. Actually, I don't know. Do you reckon them? Oh, gosh. The mobs might be able to go through that portal, actually. That would not be nice. Uh, okay. So let's make... Uh, two, actually let's make some red dye first, and then let's make an orange dye, or two orange dyes. Now the cool thing about this uh, mod, again, another cool thing should I say, because there's quite a few cool things, is that you can change the color of your portal. So I'm going to go with orange, I think, but just to demonstrate, we can right click with this to make it go yellow. This looks kind of cool. We can make it go purple again, red, or we can go orange. So I think I might go with orange, I quite like the look of orange, I think I'm going to change the one up here as well to be orange, like that. There we go. Now, uh, another thing that I like on my portals, because um, as anyone who's watched me for any amount of time really will know, apart from the fact that I can't spell when I can't see my keyboard, 
um, is the fact that I don't like the, the noise that portals make. I don't usually like having them in my base. Like the one we've got at the minute, it's like all the way out that way. And uh, so, what the cool thing about this mod again is that you can make do 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 if I find it sound control upgrades. So you can actually have it so that it does not make any sound whilst it's sat there. So it doesn't make that annoying like that's my um, amazing impression of what that sounds like. And it's not actually that hard to make. It's just a note block which is redstone surrounded by wood. So let's make two of those like this. Oh, they stack. That's nice. And then, do we have some space in here? We can dump stuff. Yeah, we do. Okay. And then we combine that with some blank thingamajigamabobs. Grab those. And kaplunk. We have two uh, sound control cards. So now if we turn our sound back a little bit, hopefully the rain stopped. We'll probably hear that um, you can hear the portal. Hear it. It's got a really annoying noise. Now I have turned it up a little bit, which is probably a bit unfair, but it's got a really annoying noise. What we can do though is we can just throw these in. Throw these in. And now we should. After this like sound cycle's finished. It should never make a noise again. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Now, that's not to say we won't hear the skeletons upstairs. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a horrible place to have a creeper, but it's fine. It's fine. We shouldn't be using that anymore. We should be using this. Um <laughs> Okay, so what else can we make? We can make the, um, we can make a couple of these, like there's nether frame upgrades. These allow you to use other blocks instead of uh, obsidian, so we can use like whatever title.lightstone.name is. Um, it might be uh, glowstone actually. Uh, nether block, block, of, block of quartz. Uh, then we can use this one, block of iron, gold, diamonds and emeralds. We could use those guys. Uh, now modify a camouflage, makes the portal modifier look like neighboring blocks. Um, uh, okay, what this might do is, um, I think what this is going to do is actually just make this thing here look like obsidian instead of looking like all these guys. I don't think it's actually going to change what these look like. I think it's just going to change this to look like obsidian. Or maybe look like um, stone brick, I don't know. But uh, I think that's all that's going to do. And to be honest, I don't think that's worth one of our like, our only ender pearl that's left. Uh, I'm not sure what a networking card does, but it sounds pretty cool. Particle control. So if you don't like this like particle effect that it's got, I mean, I guess, to be honest, you could probably just... Does turning off particles work? No, apparently not. Okay, so that's just terrible advice. That doesn't work. <laughs> but um, if you don't want particles, you could add a back that grid as well. Um, there's some other stuff here. There's basic uh, dial devices and basic dial device. Uh, basically, what these allow you to do is if you put one of these down, and uh, like I said before, if we had multiple portals, which I think we will get onto at some point, um, like say, I don't think we have enough obsidian at the minute, no. But if we got another portal and say put it in the fields, and we wanted to have multiple things that we could dial on our network, what we'd have to do is have um, a basic dial device and then we just click on it, type in the code of that specific portal. So say the one upstairs is diamond, the one out of the field is iron. Um, and then we just type in that, turn the lever on and then it should make a portal to that thing. Now that's a shame. It seems that when you turn the portal off and back on again, it changes the color, which is kind of annoying because I'm probably going to end up doing that by accident quite a bit. Can we just break this thing? I don't want, I don't want this. I never want it off ever. <laughs> uh, really? Really? Do we have to light this up again? Ah, oh, that's a pain. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll call it there, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit like, and I will see you guys on tomorrow's video. Bye!